Hi, welcome to Intervals. In this video, we're going to do an overview of milestones. In Intervals, milestones are a great way to manage multitask deliverables. That would be something that has, say, 30 to 40 tasks needed in order co to complete the project. In Agile software development, a milestone would be equal to a sprint. Now, milestones are optional and exist one level above tasks, and each milestone is associated to a project. Now, if you're updating copy on a website for a client, for example, you probably don't need a milestone. You can just track that work with a task. And also, you can have multiple milestones per project. Now, milestones can be accessed from the Milestones tab. Right now, we're looking at milestones that are associated to a specific project, in this instance, the Web Redesign Project. From the Milestones List page, just a few tips, you can hover over projects and milestones and see more details without having to click into them. Also, all the right-click functionality is available, so if you need to quickly just update the date, for example, you can do it from this page. You can also click over here and see expand to see all of the tasks that are associated with the milestone. And again, they have the right-click and hover options as well on this page. When looking at a specific milestone, you'll be able to see all of the information about it, the project it's associated with, who owns it, the due date, estimated time versus actual, also the number of tasks associated with that milestone and their current states. Below the general milestone information is a list of all the tasks. You can also make comments on the milestone and see any updates made to the milestone here if a task has been added or removed from the milestone. The Graphs tab is really useful when getting a visual for the remaining tasks and the states that they are in. The idea is to work all of the tasks to closed states so you can quickly and easily see what states the tasks are in and to help keep them moving along. If you then want to look into tasks that are in a specific state, you can navigate back to the Tasks tab and then filter based on that status. Now, as you're moving through the project, you might decide you need to complete a task in this milestone that's not currently associated to it. So you can easily do that by updating the milestone and select from these available tasks. These are tasks that are associated to this project but haven't been assigned to a milestone. And once you add these tasks to the milestone, all of the time information will be updated automatically. Almost every report can be run based on a milestone, across all milestones, or for just one milestone. For example, the cross-chart report you can group by milestone for this project and then see all of the milestones associated to this project. Experiment with the filtering here because it's really powerful and you should be able to get the data displayed in a way that you want to see it. The homepage calendar gives you a nice view into the current tasks, when they're ending, and the due dates of the milestones. If a milestone is delayed, you can easily drag it to its new end date. You'll then get a prompt and you can reschedule any tasks associated with that milestone as well as the other milestones associated with the project. So you can also choose which milestones should be pushed out based on this movement. It's not an all or nothing situation. And if you um, hopefully don't work on the weekends, you can keep these milestones so they shift and they don't, and they stay off of the weekends so they aren't rescheduled there. If anyone that is assigned to a task follows a task, is an owner of a task, they will get a milestone update email showing all of the tasks that have been updated and rescheduled, as opposed to receiving a whole bunch of task update emails. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, please contact support at myintervals.com. Thank you.